guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 building video. Today we're doing a vet clinic because the Sims 4 cats and dogs. That's a weird sentence, but that's the reason we're doing it. Because it makes sense. Anyway, yeah, Sims 4 cats and dogs have just come out. And as you guys know, you can be, you can play as a vet. You can visit a vet clinic. You can own a vet clinic. Um, so I thought, let's build one. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So I did this actually on a live stream, or at least half of it. The first half of this video... Uh, was streamed live the second half. I just did in my own time to finish it off uh, so that's uh, Just some good knowledge to have I don't stream often anymore But when I do we do some cool things and I think the, the thing I like about streaming especially when it comes to builds And I think I've said this before but it's just I was able to get the sort of instant feedback I'm able to try different things. However, and I've also said this before I remember uh, The downside is it does take me longer because I keep changing my mind based on feedback So I've actually done a little bit of editing in this video to cut out certain parts I think this is gonna be about almost a 55 minute video at this speed if I didn't edit it down Because there's a lot of parts where I was kind of just changing the same thing for like over and over and over again like even now with the building of the walls I'm kind of like indecisive although I usually am anyway but it was it was bad so I've, I've spared you some uh, some boring content hopefully hopefully and hopefully you'll like this because we did a lot of cool things that maybe you haven't tried yourself before and you should definitely check out oh actually also if you're looking at the building just then when I built the, like the, the third level it started looking like a really art deco building which this is really not supposed to be this was the idea behind this vet clinic supposed to be like a contemporary not like a modern or super like uh clean like high-end vet clinic it was supposed to be just like you can't you know just your average vet clinic like obviously a bigger bigger one uh because i the the ones that uh i used to go to uh with my dogs were it was just like a small it was almost it was just like a renovated house it was like a two-bedroom house or something it was tiny and it just had like a tiny exam room and that was kind of it so this is quite a big one um so in this we end up having three exam rooms and two surgery rooms and we actually have a like the research room with the, the lab and then we also up the top the whole top floor is an apartment so you can if you own this vet clinic uh you can stay up the top and live there and then open the vet clinic downstairs that was kind of the idea behind it or even if you don't want to stay there there's just room up there to refill your needs and all that so all that kind of stuff is great so yeah like i was saying before uh this is supposed to be just a contemporary uh, vet clinic so just a regular looking building nothing flat no, no, nothing super flashy but not not so cheap either like obviously it's its own building out somewhere else so they've clearly built this with purpose so that's what we're trying to sort of hit the nail on the head with there uh, and I decided to set up like a little car park around the side because I was like this people are going to be driving here especially because this place you can see is kind of out of the way we got this big driveway leading up to it. it's off off the road and all that so I was like well people are going to be coming here specifically so it kind of makes sense to have a faux car park obviously it's not going to work but that's kind of the idea behind it you know uh, and then around the side here I actually wanted to have like a, a little sort of cats slash dogs play area so you can like take them outside i mean probably not cats cats probably wouldn't go out here you probably need like a cattery or something right but anyway like uh, get, got a little yard here for the, uh, the the animals to come outside and have a play and that's kind of the idea here um i was just trying to choose what i wanted to do with the fence here because i wanted a wooden fence but that just wasn't doing it for me so i ended up using a half wall instead uh, and that just worked a lot better we used partial half wall partial uh chain link fence because i thought that also looked quite nice and in the end i think it turns out really well um and you'll I think you'll like it. I, I, I think you'll like it. We we don't actually finish up the yard for a long time. Like I started up now, but we come back to it way later in the video. So stay tuned. Now this is something I edited out here. I spent like five hours coming up with a color scheme for this building and changing all the walls. It took ages. I just kept changing my mind and the chat, like the, the live stream chat was like, oh no, this might look good. And I was like, you know what? You guys are right. You guys are right. So we kept changing it. And then we eventually kind of land on this color scheme. I'm still changing it a bit, but we have this sort of older, those like white bricks. The, the idea was kind of like, this used to be maybe an older building that they have since renovated. They've added little bits on here and there. Uh, so maybe like the white brick area was the older portion of the building. Then around the back where we have that sort of gray siding, maybe that's a new addition to expand the, the vet clinic a little bit. And that's the idea behind it anyway, that we expanded it. Uh, and also something really cool about this vet clinic, which uh, I don't know um 
if it's it's probably not going to be useful at all but it, it looks cool i think the, the point is it looks cool i decided to do like a little pet store out the front of it as well because a lot of a lot of vets will typically have you know things you can buy from them whether it be pet food or medication or whatever it may be they typically have something you can buy so we did like a little pet store out the front like a fairly big one we sell you know pet bowls pet food got treats obviously if you open a vet clinic, you can't sell most of those items. Uh, if you have the vending machines, you can you can sell stuff from those by putting like the medicines in the vending machines and sell that. However, you could also, in that case, if you preferred, instead of running it as a vet, you could also run it as a retail store. So then obviously all the vet clinic stuff would just be for show, but then you could have the pet store in the front section uh, so you could do it that way too. So you could either run it as a retail store or you could run it as a vet. Or you could just have it as a home and not run it as either. Just... I don't know. It's kind of up to you. So that's, I thought it was cool. And I think, I think it looks really, really nice in the end having this whole store and like in the lobby area. So this whole front section here, you can see is where the store slash lobby waiting room is. Uh, and of course we have some bathrooms, which was actually a great suggestion from you guys in the Twitch chat. Uh, I was like, what about, you're like, what about having a bathroom for people that come and visit? And I'm like, that's actually, that's, that's a good call. That's a good call because the game doesn't require it. You don't need it, but it's certainly something that's going to help because if you're there and the people need to go to the bathroom, it's there. So that's good. On that note, we also do have a litter box for cats to use. Uh, and we have a bunch of food bowls as well. We, oh, we have a lot of food bowls. Just you wait. If you didn't see the stream, you'll see them soon. But, but yeah, so here's where we start doing some really cool things. So we're just getting a couple of shelves here because I want to put dog food on it. Now, oh, dog and cat food. Uh, all, the, all this food doesn't actually snap to any of these points. So we have to use, we're using move objects on and we're raising all of these up individually. Uh, using the cheat. If you don't know how to do this, I have uh, a lot of tutorials on my channel. If you search, uh, I don't even know what you'd search. Do I have a move objects tutorial or is it in, if you just search like how to build the Sims 4 on my channel or just how to build the Sims supply, you'll find my overall tutorial and it is in that. But let me have a look. Let's see, move objects tutorial. Uh, I have a tutorial on free object rotation placement and more. It might be in that one. I'm not sure. Let me have a look. Because I would love, because a lot of people often wonder, it's like, how do you do this? Did I do it in this tutorial? I don't know that I did. I did, oh, I did like a lot of things in this tutorial, but not move objects. <laughs> but but not the, the cheat I was actually looking for. Uh, I don't know where it is. Well, if you look at my um, The Sims 4, how to build cheats, tips and tricks video, that's uh, that actually covers a lot of stuff. That's like an 18 minute video that I cover pretty much every build mode cheat imaginable. Anyway, pet bowls, like I said, we have a lot of them. Uh, and I used the whole move object cheat to do that as well. And it took 5,000 years to do. Uh, and I, as you saw, I cut out most of it because there's a lot of bowls there. We have, uh, well, how many did we end up having there? I think someone calculated it out. Uh, hang on, there's one, two, I'm trying to see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, is there nine? Like nine in a row? I think that's what we have. Oh, it's hard to see with it moving so far. There's a lot of balls. Anyway, and then we stacked them three high at the back. So again, we're doing another little move objects cheat here. I'll talk about this one as well. Because uh, I wanted like a little display here as you walk in. I thought that we should have something there that you can buy. And then I found like obviously these little ceramic cat statues. And there's ceramic dog ones as well. And I was like, this and oh, and because we can scale items down, which I don't know if I mentioned that yet. That's how we scaled down the food uh, or the, the pet food. So you can make things smaller now, not just bigger, which is awesome. Really, really handy. I use it a lot in this build. I actually scaled down the table as well and use it as like a pedestal in the middle. So we have a smaller table in the middle that's like a pedestal and we have all these ceramic cats and dogs around it using the move objects cheat. So we had a lot of fun playing around with that. Like this whole store was really just a lot of fun. We were just hanging out in the stream, just being like, okay, what kind of what kind of idea can we come up with now? And like, <laughs> and doing like the pet bowls all on the table there. Like if you need to buy a pet bowl, you can come in. Um, and hopefully some of those pet bowls that we have on the floor, they should actually be usable. I don't know what's going to happen to the ones that are on the table. Like, I don't know what happens if you go fill all bowls on lot. That would be an interesting interaction, which I don't recommend because it probably won't work. <laughs> Or it will do something unexpected. But I, I do wonder what happens when you have a pet bowl that's like raised up. If they'll try to eat from it or if it will just be like, no, nope, can't do it. Uh, and again, a few more move object streets here. We put all the toy bins on top of the table and we've stacked up a bunch of pet beds underneath as well. Which I thought, again, was a nice little uh, touch there to fill it up. So it looks like the store is like really well stocked with a lot of items. Um, and then we just got some posters. Getting some posters up on the wall now to make it look a little bit more alive because... 
Uh, we need it. It's very, it's a very colorful place, which I know, I know, is really unlike me. I mean, the idea was as well, like the flooring. The flooring is pretty standard. You can see, I, I actually really loved this flooring because it was uh, just like a, a linoleum kind of flooring, but it's all scratched up and scuffed. And I was like, this is perfect because it's a commercial lot. It's like they're not going to have, I mean, I mean, they could have lots of things. I'm not going to say they're not, they're not going to have something, but I think this flooring is great because it's going to be hard wearing, long lasting, cheap, and the scratches make it perfect because there's pets walking around with their claws everywhere. And I was like, that's I was like, that's why I want to use That's why I did it. Anyway, so my point is because the flooring is quite a plain color. So are the walls. That's why I wanted to get a lot of posters everywhere and have a lot of colors in a lot of the other items, especially because it's a commercial lot. It's for, it's a vet. Vets generally aren't a super happy place to go. I mean, they might be. Maybe you're just getting vaccinations. That's not too bad. But generally, if you're going to a vet, it, it's not usually the best day. Uh, for your little your little furry one so we want to make it a bit fun a bit more colorful and not we want it to be light and fun <laughs> at least when you're waiting here so we have these huge windows as well really green like lots of uh, hedges and all of that uh, so just keeping it you know light anyway we're moving on to the actual uh, vet like things that are going to be useful the vet clinic everything we've done so far is not really useful although actually we do have a vending machine there and the check-in machine so that, that those two items in the lobby are useful so that's kind of good but anyway we've got yeah three exam rooms here because i believe i don't actually know i haven't completely fully run a vet yet but i, I assume much like dine out the limit is kind of like three so i assume you can hire three vets is going to be my guess so, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing it's three. So we have three exam rooms. Uh, we decided to, basically every room is pretty much the same, has all the same items. So they each have a computer. Because I, I mean, that stuff, you don't need it. You really only need the exam table, but we're trying to make it feel somewhat more lively and a bit more realistic. So we're getting a bunch of counters, a lot of workspace, getting a little desk for the vet to sit at as well and do some work. So we've got all these counters and we've got them all different colors, but the same, pretty much the same items in each room, like literally, but we do a different layout, a uh, different color scheme. Uh, and just mix it up that way. And this pink room, by the way, one of the best, because it's got those huge windows looking outside, but that would be pretty nice. Uh, and each room has a sink, so you can wash your hands, pretty important. Uh, and uh, all, of course, lots of treats, lots of treats to keep pets calm all over the place. We've got some little utensils there as well on the counter. So just putting all these little detail items in every single room. And lots of bins as well. My, my signature move is for getting bins. So this time we didn't, we've got them everywhere. We also did manage to get in uh, some chairs, some waiting chairs so that the pet owner can come in and sit down as well. So they don't have to stand up, uh, which is really, really useful. Also back in the lobby at the moment, we don't have any couches. We only have armchairs, which I realized later on, uh, and I do change it and we'll see it in a bit, but later on I come back and actually put in a couple of sofas because I realized that uh, dogs will not be able to sit on those or at least uh, at least large dogs. I don't, I don't know. Can small dogs sit on like armchairs? But I put in a couple of sofas because then at least the dogs can sit on those for sure. So I thought that'd be useful. And I just got a little hand sanitizer there by the exit because I was like, well, you've been in a vet. Maybe you want to just sanitize your hands a little bit just, just before you leave, just to be safe, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so I did actually, I've been doing a little bit of editing through this part here because oh god especially like this this section here where we're sort of putting everything on the walls uh because we have to put them on the walls we have to keep the walls up we have to rotate a lot we have to zoom in and do all that kind of stuff and we're doing it a lot and doing the same thing in every room so i was just trying to edit it down a little bit uh but each room also has a clock above the door and we decided to add in some internal windows because the hallway was looking really really bland so actually adding some windows into the hallway helped the look in here a bit it is pretty Hey, the hallway, look, the hallway is not the crowning jewel of this build. I'll be honest. Um, it just isn't. It's not, but don't, don't focus on that. Anyway, moving on to the surgery rooms here. These are pretty much 100% identical. I think even at one point I just copied the room because I'm like, I'm building the same thing here. So I might as well do it once and just copy and paste it. But these rooms, unlike all the others, I decided to keep very... I guess bland, it's very white, very sterile. Cause I was like, look, it's a surgery room. Uh, typically like in reality, the pet owner is not gonna be in the room while their pet is being operated on. Obviously in the Sims, I think it's different and they probably will be in there standing there watching. But the point was, I was like, well, it doesn't, it doesn't need to look good. It just needs to be functional, it needs to be easy to clean. So we did a lot of tiles, we just kept it white and just easy, like that's kind of the idea behind these rooms. And we've got some desks and sinks and all that kind of stuff in here as well. I decided to use this, uh, what was, where is that thing? The dine out one, cause it's like, 
It almost seems a little bit more sterile, that sort of that sort of thing. So I was like, uh, that was a suggestion from the Twitch chat as well. So I was like, perfect. Um, and then, oh yeah, so now we are now we're no longer live streaming. This is the part that I came back and did myself uh, just the other day. Uh, and then, yeah, just put in a couple of couches, just doing the bathrooms. Oh, no, I haven't done the couches yet. Sorry, I lied. We'll do it in a minute. Uh, doing the bathroom here so that uh, any guests coming can go, you know, go to the toilet. I guess the vets could use that as well if they needed to. A couple of little hand sanitizers and paper towel. All that kind of good stuff right there. Uh, and then we've got... Oh, yeah, that's where I, I just cloned the, uh, <laughs> the the surgery room because I was like, there's no point just doing this twice. I might as well just copy and paste it. Uh, here I was trying to see if I could fit in a couch between... The, uh, all these chairs, because I thought that might be a cool idea if it fit. It really didn't, so I was like, all right, forget that. Let's just, uh, this is me just trying to figure it out. Let's just remove the end a little bit and just chuck them on the end. So they can sit over there, no problems. And I was trying to see if I could get like a rug underneath just to give it a bit more uh, detail on the floor. Nothing really fit, so I kind of gave that idea a little bit of a miss. Um, and then the hallways here as well, like I said earlier, they were just kind of bland. So I'm just trying to get some signs and I was like above each, above each of the exam rooms, we'll just have like a little sign. Maybe it says exam room. And then that one at the, the end of the hallway is kind of the research lab. And then those are the two operating rooms. So I decided to do like these kind of signs. And then I actually did that. Uh, oh, what is it from parenthood? Uh, it's like the curfew board or whatever it is, but I was like, it kind of, it could be like a schedule board. So maybe they schedule up what, what's happening in that room. Uh, for the next couple of days or something. So that was the idea of putting those boards next to the doors. And I thought it was just something to like have in the hallway and give it a bit more detail. And down the end, just a little table <laughs> with a golden statue on it for some reason. And here is our little lab at the end, which I had a little bit of fun with. I was actually kind of inspired by, a, I think it was a room build I did forever ago for Get to Work. I don't know. Um, la I think it was called Laboratory... Room build Sims 4. I'm just YouTubing it now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Laboratory room build uh, that I did. When was this? Because I, I remember, and this is, I was very inspired by it. Oh, not inspired, but I just remembered me doing this one ages ago. 24th of July, 2015. So over two years ago, two and a half years ago almost. Um, and I still remember it. I was like, all right, I kind of know what I want to do here. So let's get the counters in. Let's get all these posters up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, computers and I, I, thought, I was like books I mean books seems to make sense right it's like you, you want to do research and all that obviously in the scheme of the vet skill and clinic you don't need it but we're tr look we're trying to build something that's going to change lives uh, okay no probably probably not but uh, trying to build something that's going to be a little bit fun to look at and play with uh, in the game so <laughs> that's what we're doing there a little sink as well to wash your hands uh, just moving some stuff around I didn't want everything in this room to be orange that's why I left that cart that sort of more it was like that sort of teal kind of color. Or, no, it's not aqua. It's definitely like a teal. That's why I left that that color. I just it was a bit different. And again, with that, uh, those shells over there, kept it a bit different as well. Uh, but now, like I said earlier, we're finally moving outside to the, the play area. So I guess one thing I didn't have in here, which I maybe should have done. Um, I mean, it would be completely useless. But I was like, maybe we should have had like a kennel or something here. Uh, because sometimes, you know, like when uh, they do some surgery, they'll hold the dog overnight just to keep an eye on them and all that. Uh, I know our dog certainly had to be there for a couple of nights one time after surgery. Um, yeah, so they'll typically have like at least a few kennel spots so they can hold dogs there. So I was like, maybe I should have done that, especially if we have like this sort of play area out the back or like just like a outdoor area. Maybe it would have made sense, but you know what? I didn't do it, so I apologize for that. But we have a bunch of pet bowls out the back, and I've got that sort of agility tube going through the rocks there, which I thought was kind of cool. Don't know if that works. I really don't. If it does, that'll be awesome. Um, you know what? I want to see if I can find out if it works right now. See, I'll see if I can load up my game and see, and see if that works. If it doesn't, like, it just looks cool, so I was happy about that. <laughs> but anyway, just getting, like, a little uh, almost, like, shaded area here for, I don't know, whoever may be there, like the vet or something that's watching over them, and doing a couple of benches back there. I mean, I guess this could also be, like, a public dog park. I mean, it's not really, but maybe we should build a dog park. I mean, I don't know what I'd do. There wouldn't be that much to build, though, would there? So I don't, I don't know how much we would actually do with that. I don't know. You know what? It's an idea. We're spitballing right now. But uh, getting out the new bench there, which I strangely found out that that bench is not categorized as an outdoor item. It's categorized as a love seat and a sofa, which makes no sense, Which because that, that those are 100% indoor items. And the game does not consider it an outdoor item at all. Um, and I tweeted about that and I was like, that's kind of weird. So hopefully they will change that because that doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. Anyway, just making the place feel a little bit more green. 
uh, not so desolate and just plain grass and a wooden fence. I love scaling down. As you can see, I scaled down a bunch of the plants as well in this garden area uh, and around all the rocks as well. Like scaling down those ferns to have like some smaller ones is awesome. It is so good. Uh, it is really, really useful. I almost keep forgetting about the scaling down feature, making things smaller. There's so many items in this game that are just huge for reasons that no one knows. It's like, why? I mean, scaling down the microscope is not going to help because it's not going to work. But why is that thing so big? Also, all like the, those huge, there's some huge paintings in the game, which can now all be usable because you can scale them down. And it's awesome. And it's same with uh, like all the rugs as well. Some of them are ludicrously large. Uh, and you can finally make them a little bit smaller, which is sweet. Um, so that, I, I have a look. Yeah, even those, those um, shrubs I was just scaling down then. All right, I'm trying to find a household just in my game now that has a dog in it. I don't have... Oh, here we go. Uh, I guess I'll use these guys. Can I move you into a house? Sorry, um, what am I doing? Uh, just doing this thing. So this little section here, like it wasn't supposed to be... I don't really know what it was. It was kind of just like... It's not like the play area. It's kind of just like, a, I guess, a private pathway around the back to the car park. Because I do put a car park in there. So maybe it's like, I don't know, like a staff entrance or something to the area. I don't really know what it was. It just is, is there. I, I can't. You know what? It's one of those things in life that I just cannot explain. And it just is the way it is because that's how the world works. Um, and it, the more you question it, the less sense it makes. So I decided to make the car park bigger because I was also like, well, I've got all this space in the back corner here that I literally have nothing to put there. Uh, so I wasn't, I was like, all right, well, I might as well just, uh, <laughs> so I might as well just extend the car park, get a few more cars in here, uh, make it seem like a little bit busier um, in terms of people actually going there instead of a little bit desolate. I wish we had cars in the game. There, are, there is that playable cars mod. I don't, does that still exist? That was like a few years ago I did a video on that. Like Again, that was like two years ago I did a video on that, I believe. Around the same time as the laboratory room build. Because, you know how I remember that? Because that room build and that um, video that I did on the car mod, I recorded both of those in one week. Because I had one week in 2015 where I had to record five weeks of videos because I went away for five weeks. That was a great five weeks, but that was a hard, <laughs> hard time to film videos for. All right, so let's see if I can go and test. I'm testing this tube now. Let's see if I can get it get it to work. I'm running over there now. Let's see if it works. I mean, my sim is encouraging my dog to do it. Um, my dog is running over. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, wait. Can my dog not get through gates? Hang on. Do I have the controllable pets mod? I do. The playable pets mod, by the way, you should absolutely get because you can tell him to go here. It's so useful. There we go. All right, can you please perform routine? Does it work? Please work. Oh! <gasps> It works! They can go through the tube! That is awesome! <laughs> okay, so the tube in all the rocks actually works. That is really, really cool. Nice, that's good to know. Cool, anyway. Uh, so I believe, yeah, it looks like we're now onto the apartment up the top. So now we're just doing a house build. So, hey guys, James here today. Welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video. Today we're building on top of the vet clinic. Uh, I'm building a two-bedroom apartment, but one of the bedrooms I actually convert into an office, like a home office. Uh, I mean, you could change it into a, a second bedroom if you want. That's why I mean, that's why I call it a two-bedroom because it essentially is. But there's plenty of space up the top. We have a really nice, spacious apartment. We have kind of a weird stairwell where the stairs sort of wrap around and go back in on themselves, which I guess I didn't have to do. I could have had the door just off to the right of the stairs, but I wanted to leave that wall free so I could put like a couch and all that kind of stuff up against the wall. And I'd rather have the Anyway, look, it's just the way the stairwell is. I love that new wooden flooring, by the way. That flooring, it came, it came in Cats and Dogs, is awesome. I really, really love it. In any color. Like, I'm just using the lighter color in this one to brighten up the place. But the, even the darker tones on it are amazing. Like, it is super, super nice. Uh, but we have a fairly open kitchen here. I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. Because as you can see, at the moment, I was trying to do like a really small kitchen. But it's like, we have, we have a pretty big space. The kitchen doesn't need to be that small um it's also not that big i think i said no i do extend it under the windows there as well because i was like there's no point kept trying to cram it into the corner like it doesn't make any sense we have so much space and so much room for activities we that we might as well use it we do have a weird like nook here at the front because the reason we have that is out the front um that whole like colored column that we have is a like, sort of bluey green kind of color that's actually i designed that to have like a big sign on it so that means we do have a weird kind of nook here up the top, but we were able to fit a nice dining table in it there. And I love, again, 
I love that dining table. If you want to see my overview on all the items that came in the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, I do have a video on that. I do a, a build by overview where I look at all the new items, wallpapers and all that kind of stuff. I did accidentally miss the bathroom suite though, because there's a new bathroom set that comes in the game. I had it down in the video, but I forgot to talk about it. I also didn't place the uh, Roombas. And if you don't know what those are, in The Sims 4 you can now buy a little robot that you place on the floor that will just go around and automatically vacuum your apartment. So it will clean up like puddles and dog poo and any messes, like I guess uh, fur balls as well that your cats will cough up. Uh, so you can actually buy that in the game now and have that going around, which is kind of cool. The reason I didn't show it off in that video, not that you're wondering, but if you are, uh, was that it doesn't let you place it outside, even with cheats. And I didn't have any indoor spaces originally until I placed down the uh, the styled rooms. So that's why I forgot about it. So apologies there. Anyway, so we've got this little uh, living space here that I thought I'd actually divide up with a bookcase because I thought it was kind of nice. Uh, I was like, it's still a very open plan area, but it gives it a little bit more definition. And I love, I love this table. I, I don't know if I, how, how much I've said I love some of the items in this pack, but I really do. Um, I use it downstairs in the pet store as well, but I really, really like it. And we just put like a little fruit bowl on it and all that, and some, some letters and some mail. Uh, these little paintings, put them in a... There's like, this is just an individual painting. I really love that they separated them out uh, just with different recolors. I can't remember. It was either, I think it was in one of the buildings in the game where they had the four of them set up like that. Was it in a house? Where did we see that? Because I remember I saw it maybe... Oh, it must have been, it was in one of the styled rooms I did that. I'm like, that's a good idea. I like that. So I stole that and put them in a little, <laughs> in a little grid there and it worked really well. So I was quite happy with that. Now this table is not actually like a bar seating area. I really wish it was. Like, look how cool that would be if your Sims could sit out there on those stools, eat off that little table uh, by the kitchen. I wish it was. But anyway, I put a couple of stools there so it looked like it was. Because it, it seems really nice in that spot. Uh, and then we're just getting some curtains up here for a bit of privacy, because you're going to want a little bit of privacy. Got our little pet bed there. I decided to put a little uh, mat under the food bowls, and I got a second bowl as well to pretend it was a water bowl, because a lot of people were getting mad at me in my Let's Play that uh, I didn't have a water bowl, even though it doesn't exist, but... So anyway, let's pretend that we have a water bowl now. We got, we got one. <laughs> I've got one just for you, because you guys are very concerned. And I appreciate that, you know? You're concerned, concerned for my, my animals, and I appreciate it. Uh, and then we've got the double bedroom here, which is kind of depressing at the moment because we only have those two windows up the top of the room and I was like I was furnishing this. I was trying to I was trying to figure it out trying to make it look nice and I'm like You know why it doesn't look nice? It's because the room is depressing. It's really bland. It's so dark. There's no light. It's just like And the walls is the walls are so big. There's so much wall space and I'm like The only way this can look good is if we decorate the walls and we can't decorate the walls with much because it's then it looks cluttered uh, like we okay we, we definitely could do it if I spent a little bit of time sort of playing around with it but I was just like it's gonna look way way better if we just get some nice big windows in there and like immediately it does like look it completely changes the characteristic of that room and like it really really opens it up and I I thought it looked super nice after doing that after putting those big windows in I thought it looked way better it's just like holy that changes that changes the room entirely it goes from being some sort of horrible interior room with portholes for a window you're like at the bottom of some like cargo ship or something to being this beautiful open airy spacious bedroom with like really nice views outside uh just by doing those windows and like that looks way better again using that table love that table i was trying to put a tv on top of it but the with move objects i couldn't quite get them at the right height uh, so I kept looking weird. So I ended up just putting a TV on the wall instead. Scaled down the TV as well. Made it a little bit smaller because it was too big otherwise. And I really, really like that we can do that. And I thought I'd just get like a little uh, plant as well here underneath. Just to give it a bit of oomph. Because otherwise we kind of have a table there for literally no reason. Uh, so I was like, we have a table here that does nothing. Uh, it doesn't even hold the TV. The, the idea of it was to hold the TV. But we didn't need it for that. So kind of changed my mind about that. Anyway, we're getting another little office here. And again, because it's a vet, I just do a similar... Oh, never mind. In the bathroom, I changed my mind. We're doing a bathroom here, guys. Uh, oh, you know what we don't have? Oh, I should have done a bathtub. Ah, oh, damn. I'm sorry. I just, I just thought of that right now. 29 minutes into this video. And the reason I should have done a bathtub is because if you have a dog, you need to bathe them and you need a bathtub for that. Ah, oh, damn. Sorry. I would suggest changing the shower to a bath-shower combo. And that's my mistake. I'm sorry, guys. I do apologize. I hope that's not too much of an issue. I hope that's really not a deal breaker. You've come this far 
and you've just realized I've betrayed you and I'm really sorry about that. But if you want to leave my channel, never come back. I do respect the decision. Uh, but I do have a bin in the kitchen, so that's something I normally forget that I did actually have this time. Oh, I actually really, really like the. Uh, I actually really like this apartment on top of this, top of this building. It's actually super nice. Like when we get into some of the screenshots, I was like, oh, oh damn, this actually. I was like, this actually looks good because I was kind of, like when I was doing it, I was kind of like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. Like I wasn't real. I wasn't really sold on it. Like when I was building it. But then I like looked at the screenshots. I'm like, okay, you know what? This act, this worked. This worked. But I think we've just finished the apartment, and now we're moving on to landscaping because the rest of the uh, the rest of the lot looks kind of blank. Like there's not a lot going on. Um, and I really wanted some tall plants in these like little window wells, uh, but none of the actual build mode plants seem to fit very well. So I decided to use those like bi mode potted plants and just cover it up with a couple of shrubs. Ooh, putting those poodle topiaries on top of those hedges. I thought that worked really well because I feel like they're too small. If you just put them on the ground, it, it almost seems weird that there's like poodle topiaries that small and just on the ground. I mean, you could scale them up, but I was like, why don't we just put them on top of a hedge? Because then it's like they're sort of on a pedestal and they've been like shaped out beautifully on top of the hedge there. So I was like, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. Uh, and then as you saw, I put the big sign on the front of the vet. And I did a couple of uh, billboards as well on the side, which I thought was good because it's like prime billboard real estate uh, that's going to be all about advertising but we're just rolling up to the end of the build here it is about done just getting a few more lights around the outside because it seemed a little bit dark there and also we got this huge grass patch right at the front uh, and the reason I, I didn't I was like I thought we could have extend, extended like the play yard to that area but the reason I didn't is because of the big window in the waiting area. I was kind of like, well, that we got this huge window that I want to be exposed to like the road. Like I want you to be able to see out and all that. Uh, so we didn't do that in the end. But uh, that, that's sort of why we just have that spot there with a couple of bushes in the front. Uh, but here we go. This is the vet clinic. I love the play, the play area there. The, that tube, the tube through the rocks. It's actually usable too. That is impressive. Um, so I was pretty excited about that. Uh, well, I mean, you know I was. We did that during this video. We figured that out. Oh, here's like the little doggy house. I don't know. I assume they can use that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Actually, why didn't I test that when I was in the game? Damn it. Uh, anyway, this is available for download on The Sims 4 Gallery. Uh, so you can just go to my page, which is The Sim Supply. The same as my username here on YouTube, just without spaces. Or you can search for hashtag The Sim Supply. I think I go to... The Wags Vet Clinic, or not the, just Wags Vet Clinic. So if you search that as well, maybe it'll come up. But obviously we've been going through the screenshots of the lobby and the pet store. I uh, really, really love that space. I loved all the, the kind of fun stuff we did with move objects. Uh, obviously here's the hallway uh, around the back area to all the exam rooms, which we'll check out in a minute. Here's the blue room. Uh, I love those blinds above the counter there. I, I wish we could, we didn't get those blinds in all of the rooms. Like you can see in this one, we have like the roller one because they were too tall and they sort of took up half the wall. So anyway, there's the pink room as well. Got our hand sanitizer and our paper towel and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I only photographed one of the surgery rooms, I think, because they're both, like I said, identical. So there's no point showing both. Uh, here is the downstairs laboratory with the sink and all the, the gear that you need and a little angle there with all the posters and the anatomy of cats and dogs. Uh, which is a bit of fun. And here we are in the upstairs apartment, uh, which I, again, like I said, I really love. Like going through the screenshots, I love the huge windows and it just feels really, and the floor, I love the flooring, like the wooden floor that come, that it's just so nice. It really is. And there's the kitchen with our little stools as well, which I was quite fond of, as you might have heard. A uh, little dining area there, which actually turned out better than I thought it would. Because uh, it was such a weird little spot. Uh, and I love this outdoor dining area too. Uh, we used a bit of move objects to get that plant on the table there. And a nice bedroom there, open and airy. We've got those huge windows looking out there. And here is the upstairs office. But that is going to do it for me. This is the build of our vet clinic. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can click on screen now to check out some other build videos. Or you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I feel like at this point, if you've gotten this far, I would appreciate a sub. Don't have to, though. No pressure. But I'll be a little bit sad if you don't. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.